Hey guys, it's me Tolha. In this Revit exercise tutorial, I will be sharing some massing techniques in Revit. We will be modeling this cool looking uh, living unit project in Revit. If you find this video helpful, consider supporting my work on Patreon to help me create new videos every week. Now let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and as usual, first we are going to create some new levels and I'm going to select this one and press CS on the keyboard to create similar we'll create two new levels here like so now let's go back to level one and as i said we are going to use in place mass to create this project so let's go to massing inside and first we need to click on this show mass button and then in place mass let's click ok and here first i am going to create uh, some reference planes so let's select reference plane from here and we will create four of these the second one at 11 feet and the third one at six feet and the fourth one at six feet as well now i'm just going to select this one and name it one and this should be reference plane two three and four so our reference planes are now ready let's go to the elevation again and here we can uh, start uh, creating the profiles so i'm going to use pick lines and once uh, once we click on this we'll get this dialog box here i'm going to select this reference plane one that we just created let's click ok and we need to give an offset here so i will put two feet here and pick this level and then this level and let's uh, press escape twice and then we can select a line from here just create a line here and then we can use pick lines again and i'm going to give three feet offset on both sides so we are going to get a six by six window here so let's just trim uh, these lines here and i'm just going to delete this one and now uh, let's select rectangle and just change this placement plane we'll use reference plane 2 and make sure draw and work plane is selected and let's put two feet offset here and just draw a rectangle around this one like so if i go to 3d you see we got our rectangle here so let's select this one and click here copy to clipboard and then paste align to same place okay we get this warning just ignore that still we have this copied rectangle selected we can just change the host this time we'll select reference plane 3 there we go now i will just go back to south elevation and create a small window so let's use pick lines make sure draw on work plane is selected and then this time we will uh, select reference plane 4 and okay i think instead of pick lines we can use rectangle again and just make sure reference plane 4 is selected and we'll give one foot offset and just draw a rectangle here just hit spacebar and draw it inside of this rectangle like so let's go back to 3d see we have these four uh, profiles created now we can create form here using these rectangles so if i select all of this and click here create form we get this kind of shape and we don't want to create this kind of shape so i will just undo here you need to select the rectangles one by one then uh, create a form so let's select this one and then this one and click here create form there we go let's orbit around and select this face by pressing tab key and then hold control key and select this one and click here create form and then we can select this face again by pressing the tab key click on it and then hold control key and select this uh, profile and then click create form there we go 
so we already got this uh, shape of this uh, unit here now uh, we can just click finish mass and uh, use wall by face to turn this form into solid geometry so let's go to architecture and select and wall by face from this drop down and then i'm going to use this five inch generic wall and let's pick these faces here so i have selected uh, all these faces here but as for the top and this bottom face we need to uh, use roof by face because wall by face does not work on uh, this kind of flat uh, forms so let's press escape and uh, select roof by face from this drop down and again i will just quickly create a five inch uh, roof here the same size we used for the walls so let's put five inches here hit ok and let's select this face and click here create roof there we go i need to repeat that here as well select this face and then click create roof and now for this one we need to change the face location of this roof so let's select this roof and we get this option picked faces location let's click here and select faces at bottom of the roof there we go so we have created this single unit here now if i zoom in here you see we need to clean up the edge here as well as the bottom and we need to fill these gaps so we'll fix them in a moment first uh, we will just quickly add windows so let's go to south elevation and i'm just going to check the size here so it's i think it's going to be six by six feet window so let's select window from here edit type duplicate i'm going to create a six feet by six feet window hit ok let's put that here six feet height and width six feet let's click ok and we can now just add a window here okay sometimes you get this error that cannot cut instance so just click cancel and go to 3d and let's try to place a window here again there we go now it's working fine we just need to align this window al and uh, select this edge and and then the edge of this window here as well pick this edge and then this window we got our window here and let's quickly repeat that on this face as well let's go to north and let's just make sure the size here again it's going to be 4 by 4 and let's select window and create a duplicate 4 feet by 4 feet and then we can uh, put the sizes here 4 feet here as well and then I think again we need to go back to 3d okay I forgot to uh, create wall here so let's select wall by face and pick this face and then we can just try to add window here there we go let's go back to the elevation and use align tool al and just align this window so i think we can just clean up the edge here so to do this we can create an in place component so let's click this drop down and select model in place and i'm just going to press g here to go to generic models let's click ok and click ok again and let's use void sweep then i'm just going to use pick path and pick the edge here now let's click finish and uh, we will create a profile let's click edit profile and i'm just going to create a rectangle here 
we need to create that on this uh, reference plane here like so then we need to click finish to get this sweep and then we can use cut geometry select that select this void and then this edge there we go got this clean edge here let's quickly repeat that at the bottom here as well again we need to cut this select cut geometry select this void and then this wall there we go now to fill up these gaps we can uh, create extrusions so let's go to create select extrusion and we'll set the work plane okay let's click pick a plane and we want to pick this face here okay it's let's change the visual style to hidden line select pick lines again and if i hover over the edge here you can see this face is highlighted just click and then use pick lines and just pick the edges of this uh, gap here then use tr and just join these lines and i'm just going to repeat that here as well pick the edges use tr and then click finish okay we got our extrusion here let's use this handle and just drag it inside and you can see it will snap the face of the wall let's drag this from here as well again it will snap the face like so just make sure we don't have any other gaps here okay it's looking perfect now we can click finish and we have created this single unit now we can just simply copy this to the other levels so let's go to east elevation and i'm just going to select all of this and then click copy to clipboard and paste align to selected levels and let's select level 2 hit ok i think for some reasons the in place component that we created did not uh, copy to the other level so that's why we get this warning so we'll fix that in a moment just ignore this warning and press dm on the keyboard and just mirror it from the middle here just unchecked copy and just mirror as i said the in place component did not mirror so let's click delete instances and we still have this one copied so we can just paste it to level 3 like so click ok again and there we go it's looking something like this as you can see the roof is also deleted so we need to create a roof let's go to architecture select roof by face and then just pick this face click create roof and as for this one i think uh, only we have an issue with the sweep because as you can see here we still have this uh, extrusion so we can just select that edit in place and if you notice it uh, actually got fixed we just needed to switch to edit mode and it automatically updated the void now let's click finish model and for this i think for this edge here as well we need to repeat the same just select the extrusion i think it's here select the extrusion edit in place and it should update the sweep as you can see here let's just click finish model and we have created this cool looking project here now we can simply uh, hide mass just go to massing inside and turn off mass from here and then we can hide it from the uh, graphic settings as well so let's press vg to open up this graphic settings and i'm just going to press m to go to mass here just uncheck it 
click apply okay there we go let's quickly add uh, columns here as well as a door so I'm just going to uh, use this default door family let's add here and we can add columns here so let's go to level 1 and select uh, architectural column from this drop down and I think this 24 by 24 should work fine let's place one here another one here now we can select both of these and press DM on the keyboard okay just make sure copy is checked and we can create copies here like so there we go let's select this one right click select all instances visible in view and in the base offset let's put minus 18 inches and top level should be level 1 there we go let's quickly create the stairs here so let's go back to level 1 and select stair and here also we will put the same minus 18 inches and then I'm just going to create stairs here let's just move it here and then click finish so we have created our stairs as well so we have created this cool looking uh, living unit project in Revit so that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and if you found this video helpful consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week and yeah I will see you guys in the next video